ever feel like your brain's just uh, running a million tabs at once? <laughs> I feel like that's like the story of our lives these days, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, yeah. Just information overload all the time. Yeah. But what if there was a way to like hit refresh? And I'm talking about something incredibly simple, something you literally do all day, every day, breathing. Mm. So today we're diving into the power of breath, but not just any breathing. We're going deep on something called Anapanasati. Right. It's this core concept from Buddhist tradition, and we've got some excerpts here ready to unpack. Okay. It might sound a little intimidating at first, this whole Anapanasati thing, but trust me, it's way more accessible and useful uh, than you might think. Mm. I'm excited to dig into it. I think what's really fascinating is how this ancient practice is finding new life in our modern world. Totally. And honestly, for good reason, it works. Yeah. So Anapanasati, let's break it down. Yeah. At its core, it's all about paying close, really deliberate attention to your breath. Okay. And I don't just mean like, oh yeah, I'm breathing, I'm alive. It's about really tuning into the sensations. Right. Each inhale, each exhale, noticing the rhythm, the whole nine yards. So almost like your mind, especially these days, is like a monkey swinging from vine to vine, never really settling down. Oh, I like that. And Apanasati is like we're gently training that monkey, right? Offering it one stable point to focus on, and that's your breath. Right. And by focusing your attention in this way, you're giving your mind a break from that constant chatter and really allowing it to ease into a calmer, more focused state. Yeah, it's like hitting the pause button on like, you know, those racing thought that to-do list on repeat in the back of your head. Exactly. And speaking of real world applications, our source mentions this student, Emma, who used this technique to overcome some serious test anxiety. Yeah, and I think a lot of us can relate to that. Have you ever noticed how like athletes, they take a moment to center themselves before a big game? Oh, for sure. It's the same principle at play here. So Emma, by focusing on her breath, she interrupted that spiral of anxious thoughts and allowed herself to approach that test with a clearer, more focused mind. And this isn't just for students facing down exams, right? Mm -hmm. This is for anyone, any time you need to find your center, like oh. that high stakes presentation at work or even just navigating a tough conversation or even just like being stuck in traffic and you feel that frustration bubbling up, that's your cue. Right, just a few mindful breaths can truly make all the difference. Totally, <laughs> and I think that's what I love so much about Anna Panasati is that it's not about becoming a meditation master overnight, right? Mm -hmm. It's about integrating these little moments, these little resets throughout your day. Absolutely. And it's amazing, like you'd be surprised by the ripple effect it can have. It's not even just about those fleeting moments of calm. Right. This practice can actually have a real impact on how you handle stress in general, how you regulate your emotions, even your overall cognitive function. It's pretty powerful. Yeah, it's like this secret weapon, this like little tool you have in your back pocket to deal with all the chaos of everyday life. You don't need any fancy equipment. You don't need hours of meditation. It's literally just you, your breath, and a few moments of awareness. And it makes you think, doesn't it? It does. Like if something as simple and accessible as paying attention to your breath can have such a profound impact, what other untapped potential do we have within ourselves? What other hidden tools are just waiting to be discovered? Right. So maybe, maybe try out Anna Panasati, see what you uncover within yourself. You might be surprised. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining. Thank you.